What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Common Calamity server. I'm Cal, and uh, we are here in 1.18. Probably just watched a little intro uh, of the first couple hours of the server, but I didn't want to create this whole episode just based on the day one experience. I wanted to actually build something. My goal with this season of my Let's Play series is to really focus each episode around a specific build or tutorial or, you know, maybe some sort of redstone contraption. Uh, I don't want to just make episodes to make episodes. I have spent the first few days here on the server collecting blocks and setting down some foundations. And this episode, uh, I'm going to show you my starter base for this 1.18 server. Uh, I'm using some of the new blocks. I'm using some old blocks. Uh, it is based on the base that I did in my single player world a couple years ago, which I know almost 20 of you guys have seen. So this should be new for most of you. Now, since we have been playing on the server for a few days, Obviously, people have already put together some pretty fancy starter houses. This is RPJPEG behind me. Of course, we have a full enchanting table there, although it needs a better home. And let's head up to my starter base here. We've also got a bunch of data packs running on the server. I will put a full list of them in the description down below for anyone who's interested. Uh, but I have claimed this spot right up here on the hill. Uh, I'll also throw the seed in the description down below, but uh, let me go ahead and just pull it up on screen here. And I grabbed this from the Minecraft Seeds subreddit. It's a great spot to check out some cool seeds. People are always posting awesome stuff over there. And uh, I chose this one just because, or we chose this one just because it, it had this really cool valley here. So yeah, we got some pretty good snow-capped peaks back here. And it's just going to provide a nice backdrop for everybody's starter homes and starter bases here in the valley. Uh, I know some of the other people on the server are planning to head out and build bases uh, on the other side of these mountains or off somewhere, but uh, we're all start starting out here. So we got, we got RPJPEG down there with the big house. Uh, this right here is Steelmaster J, just a nice fancy little hut here in the foothills. Uh, we got Zierski over here who is flexing his diamond block. And uh, right up here we've got Sacrifice who is sort of sharing this hillside with me. Uh, the only one I can't see from here is Professor. Okay, and here we are over at Professor Lawrence. He is still working on his roof, I believe. But again, these are like day two, day three builds. All right, let's head back up to the foundations of my starter base and get to building. Now for the 20 or so of you who did watch my original Let's Play series here on YouTube, you probably recognize this base. I have flipped it around. It is in reverse now, I believe, and I've shifted things around a little bit, but it's the same basic idea. So we've got a little square build over here. It's gonna be connected at the second story with this little bridge. Over here, we've got the main hall, which is a little bit bigger, and on in. Uh, inside here, you can see I've already set up a little bit of a day one storage area and a couple of auto smelters. I've also got a couple of auto composters set up over here. It's so difficult to move around in third person in Minecraft for some reason. All right, here we are on the second story. Obviously carrying the fireplace up to the second story as well. Here is the little bridge over to the tower. Now, the tower I'm probably gonna take up to four stories or so. This section, this main hall, is probably only gonna be the two stories, maybe a third with some dormers coming off of it. And we get a nice view of the mountains here. So I do wanna go up just a little bit further. So for me, this is just about the right size of starter base. I don't like to go too small. I, I basically just build the initial platform and that gives me enough protection to start collecting blocks. I should have everything I need to finish this build here in this episode. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump to a time-lapse from my camera account for the build. So I'll see you on the other side.
right, guys. I think the starter base is looking pretty good up there. Let's zoom in. Uh, the roofs both look great. Uh, I love the chimney and its placement. I even got this little pop out over here and uh, I added these very rough stairs. Next up, before I go back to work on the interior, is to do a little bit of terraforming. Looks like a dirt wall right now, but I want it to look a little bit more like an overhang. So I'm going to get that done, and then I will be right back. I've got the dirt and grass kind of overhanging now, and I've done a little bit of block variation underneath with stone, cobblestone, and site, and even a little bit of mossy cobble. I don't know about you, but I think it looks a little bit more... Interesting, a little bit more natural maybe. It makes a little bit more sense to me. I think I'm gonna do a little bit on this wall back here. Basically apply this technique to this cliff over here. Let me hop back to work and uh, we'll do a full walkthrough and tour of the starter base after that. And it is all done for now. I actually took a little bit longer than I expected as uh, I went and plundered the lush cave underneath my starter base here and got all these glow berries and bushes and moss and uh, just really decorated it up. And uh, I think it's looking great. I also picked up plenty of this lichen, so there's there's even a little bit of lighting here. Really pleased with how these little cliffs turned out and uh, it makes the whole space just a little bit more functional. Also pulled some bamboo up here. I've got string on the top to keep them from growing too tall. This trellis here with these hanging plants is based on a design that I found on the Minecraft Builds subreddit posted by, it looks like, Meowcraft uh, about a week ago. Uh, really love that design. They've got a whole bunch of uh, really cool uh, garden builds that they shared, and uh, this one just really fit here. It's also a little bit functional here, as when you're coming around the corner, it keeps you from just running right off the cliff and sort of directs you down the staircase here. But let's uh, let's head inside and, and take a, a quick look, as I've also done some interior design as well. So not a whole lot has changed right here, mostly just reorganization uh, of the storage. I went ahead and moved the auto composters so that I could put this wall of armor in. And uh, I've actually been working on my texture pack. So for anyone who's still watching this video, thank you. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. I've got a little teaser here for you. I am working on another large update for my grimdark battle pack and the associated grimdark arms and armor and etc. Um, and this is the first texture that I wanted to show you guys. This is uh, the full crown texture now. I'll probably rename it, but uh, I had these crowns in the base pack. I kind of wanted to push that uh, that theme a little bit and come up with a, an even lighter version than my light armor. So we've got bracelets and we've got spurs, a belt, and uh, this sort of uh, chain or necklace. That's the new one. Of course, there's the light leather, standard leather, heavy leather, and then my dryad armor, which is another variant of leather that is available in the Grimdark Battle Pack, as well as the Grimdark Armor Pack. So if you aren't already using my resource pack, I will drop some links in the description down below to the current version of the pack. Uh, this one is not in there yet, at least not fully, uh, but it will be soon. So keep watch on the channel, and I'll probably be sharing uh, an update video soon, along with a fresh download. So this floor doesn't have a lot of functionality yet. Uh, I did manage to get a brewing stand, and this is where I moved my auto composter system, but I haven't done much brewing yet. I've also got an infinite water source right here, and uh, heading up to the third floor now. Got a little balcony out here, which is great. I can look down on the valley. Uh, of course, this is my bedroom here. And for decoration, I went ahead and saved my first iron axe and my first iron sword, uh, as they are... Now, busted. Uh, one more floor, which is totally empty. This is the attic, and uh, I'm planning to put, I think, an auto sugarcane farm up here. And as we head over to the tower, now you'll see another texture that I've added to my pack. This is the new spruce wood ladder that will be available in the next update. So I'm doing a lot of work on the pack right now. Uh, I'm hoping to, oh my goodness, that is an enderman in my base. I don't know if I can take him right now. I guess I'm lucky I didn't look at him. So yeah, up here in the top of the tower, not much going on. Uh, I may eventually have another automated farm of some kind here if I can figure out something small to slot in up here. But yeah, I am doing a lot of work on the resource pack over the break, over the winter break. I'm hoping to have a massive update for you guys uh, in January. So as soon as it's ready, uh, I'll be posting a video. I'll be posting on Planet Minecraft. I'll be posting on Curse. I want to do as many more item textures as I can, along with as many decorative blocks as I can, and of course add some more armor variants. I'm going to be flushing out that crown variant like I showed you guys earlier, and I'm hoping that I will have time to add the samurai 
themed armor that has been often requested ever since I added katanas to my pack. Uh, look out for that soon. All right, everybody, that is actually going to do it for this episode. We got this entire starter base done today, along with a bunch of terraforming. And uh, for anyone who stuck around to the end, you got to see some of the textures that I've been working on for the upcoming update to my resource pack. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft content like this. And of course, you'll be among the first to get updates on my resource pack when the next update is available for download. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that like button as well. And like I mentioned earlier, there will not only be download links for my resource packs in the description down below, but I will also be dropping a full list of the data packs that we are using here on the Common Calamity server. And with that, I'll go ahead and say bye for now. See you guys for the next one.